hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna try out some new makeup that i picked up from dollar tree it's been a while since i've done this kind of video and i specifically went to dollar tree to see what new stuff they had and i think everything for the most part besides one thing is new to me that i've never tried so i got a bare face on i do have brows on the one item i did get that I have still that it kind of was just a repurchase is a brow pencil so that's why I'm not going to put fresh brows on because I've already tried out this pencil I might have even tried it out last time I did this kind of video but yeah if you want to see what we got then keep on watching I went to Dollar Tree probably like two weeks ago and I had come across these makeup remover towels and I had only picked up one at the time and I figured okay if I really like this I will go back and buy it again just because I rave about the makeup eraser wipes the reusable ones that you can just wash I really liked the one I had purchased so I got two of them and they have different colors the one I originally had picked up is hot pink and then I had seen they had a black one and then a baby pink color I think they also had like a lavender purplish one but I got these two and what's really cute about them it's like a little mitten you can almost put your whole hand in here and just like you know wipe off your makeup now it says that you're only supposed to hand wash these. I'm gonna be honest, I washed my other one and it seems to be fine, I think. I honestly thought this was such a steal for $1.25. The Makeup Eraser branded ones, I don't really know how much they are single. I mean, I've got the seven day kit ones that are like $25, sometimes 20. So it definitely is cheaper than getting those ones. They're just cute though. They have themes and whatever, but I figured while they have these at Dollar Tree, I might as well pick some up. So that was just kind of a random little side quest there. I'm gonna share everything I got and then we will try it out. So I got three, four, five, six, seven things total. First, I love having my lips moisturized at all times. I don't care. My lips are probably overhydrated a lot of the time. And you know what sucks is that when I don't have anything on them, they are fighting for moisture just because they're so used to having something. So that's completely random. But I had seen this on TikTok. This girl I follow shared. They came out with these cute little like animal lip balms. And I thought it was so cute. It's a little bear. You're very nice. So they had a couple of other animals, but this was the one that I thought was so cute. We'll try that out because I didn't get any lip product other than that. I'm not into lipstick and that's pretty much what they had or they had like sparkly lip glosses. They did have a lip oil that I think I already have, but I don't like lip oils. Yeah, they had this lip oil. This is also from Dollar Tree, this exact lip oil. They had this one again. I don't know if it was the same color, but I don't like lip oils. So that's why I didn't buy it. This is the brow pencil also from LA Colors and I do have it sitting on my vanity still. But as you can see, I'm going to get rid of her soon because at some point we have to stop trying to use a tiny little pencil, okay? But I don't know if this is the same shade. Oh no, I actually went with a darker one. So this is dark brown and this one was medium. I typically like to obviously have a darker brow pencil because my brow hairs naturally are black. It doesn't make sense to use a light brown because it's going to be too noticeable. That pencil I've gotten away with, I feel like, but... I think maybe a darker shade will work out better. Then I have this, it claims it's new and improved, also from LA Colors. This is the Instantly Radiant Bronzer in Bronze Beauty. So it has a matte finish. I hope there's no sparkles in it. It doesn't look like there are. Now I do have other bronzers from LA Colors as well. I have these two. They actually had this one still in store on the display, but I obviously have it. And then this one, but these in my opinion are like, pretty much identical. I'm assuming this will probably be exactly the same, most likely. I honestly would have named this video, test, which I probably still will, testing out LA Colors makeup because everything I got is LA Colors besides one thing. Then I got this liquid makeup and basically it is, I thought it was a concealer, but I think it's more of a foundation. I'm going to use it as a concealer, but this is what it looks like. I got the shade tan, probably not my shade, but it's okay. Then I got this contour stick. I got it in deep because it was like medium and deep. Medium looked a little bit too light, but based off how they're sharing it, I feel like they're using this almost as like an eyeshadow stick. You can use it for multiple ways and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm trying to use it as like facial because I don't ever wear anything on my eyes. I did get another mascara from LA Colors. I don't know if they like repackaged 
my one mascara that's my favorite or if this is like a completely new one but this is their lengthening mascara we'll see how this works and then the last thing i got this i've never i don't know what's about to be happening y'all i don't really know what this is gonna do i don't know how this is gonna work this is a makeup correcting gel pen girl i feel like they might have been doing something with this because the thing that caught my eye because i'm like what type of makeup correcting i'm thinking like it's a color correcting then i saw instantly corrects makeup mistakes on brows i know maybe i should get to testing out the makeup i'm getting there sorry but i specifically buy this neutrogena makeup remover eye makeup remover i don't even use this on my eyes i use this like if i need to touch up on my eyebrows and like maybe wipe off the part i drew on most people might touch up their brows with concealer but i find that if i do that it just gets cakey so I basically will erase my eyebrow with this and just kind of get it to be like more precise. So if I could do that with a pen, that is very interesting. Enough talking, let's get into testing out some of these products. I am going to be honest, I don't really like lip balms like this just because I like having something that I can... Actually, let me wait and see before I say what I'm going to say. Unless this is like an EOS lip balm. Okay, it is. Ooh! That's nice. Oh, she's moisturizing. Oh my god, I might go back and buy more. I like that. Mm. The types of like lip balms and stuff I don't like. I have this stitch one. I'm not trying to sound lazy, but I don't want to have to go wash my hands to come and like use my lip balm. Like I want something I can just put on like that. And with this, you know, like you gotta like dig your finger in it. I like this though, because this is an all-in-one. Perfect. And it's so cute. Okay, we're off to a good start. So let's try... I didn't get a primer, so I'm just going to use what I've been using recently from Mixoon. I shared a whole haul from them just because I want to give this makeup a fair shot and how I would normally go about my routines. Let's try out this foundation concealer. If I wasn't doing this video, I probably wouldn't try out this liquid makeup. It's very small, so that's why I'm kind of like assuming it's a concealer and it just doesn't like jump out for content purposes. I figure let's try it out. Okay, that match looks pretty nice it's just a matter of like if it oxidizes or not and if you've watched any of my other makeup videos i do very minimal makeup so i kind of just try to spot conceal as i like to call it and just blend it all out it has a little bit of a smell not anything terrible it's not like super strong i just kind of smelled it when i was like blending it with the brush i don't think it's terrible it did cover up somewhat like you can tell i do have the makeup on i didn't get powder so i'm gonna set that with just this wet and wild this is a little bit too light but to be honest i'm not going anywhere so that's why i wanted to try this out while i know i'm gonna be staying home i want to see how this wears obviously if i were gonna probably use that again i definitely would have went in with a second layer of it because i think it would cover up like this little blemish on my forehead better i do need to blend my forehead a little bit because this is darker here than here now this is where i want to try out the contour stick and the bronzer just like along my hairline based off the perimeter of my forehead and based off the size of this little pen i might be using this whole stick right now girl but okay glides on pretty nice i'm only going to use the stick there and then i'm going to go all over with the bronzer it feels so weird doing a makeup video i haven't done one in so long i miss it my makeup videos are so basic because i don't do any cool makeup looks and like i'm always i have such a routine down that it's like repetitive that's why i don't really like to do get ready with me's because they're the same like every time okay it's not bad i feel like it blended out pretty nicely let's go in with the bronzer she looks pretty they had two blushes there was one like really bright pink hot pink uh i was like nah i'm not gonna wear i know i'm not gonna wear that and then okay they did have two more from la colors i think but they had so much shimmer in them so i'm kind of sad i wish i would have found a nice blush that looks really nice i think so let's try out this mascara now i don't know if i like this brush too much and yeah i don't think this is my my favorite one that i like because i don't remember the brush looking like this but we'll see Ooh, but this is lengthening it's not really it's weird how it's working right now i don't look like there's much ma makeup coming out but it is doing something that looks pretty good usually my left eye always turns out really nice but i think i like my right one better the moment i have been waiting for okay let's try out this pen this was the one item I got that wasn't from LA Colors. This is from B Color. 
and this is what it looks like so it's kind of like a little it, it does say it's gel okay so as you can see i have some mascara on here oh Okay, my mascara is still wet, so it's getting all over the pen. But, hmm. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Like, I feel like it gets it wet, maybe? And then you have to, like, wipe it off? This wasn't really what I was expecting. I kind of thought the gel was going to like take it off itself, but it's going to leave residue if you don't wipe it off. So I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose. I honestly thought it was going to be like this would take it off and that's it. But it almost seems like you have to do this, wipe it off with a Q-tip anyway. So it doesn't really eliminate or make a difference necessarily. Now I think with brows maybe, like let's, let's just go on my brow here. Yeah, like, taking off my brow, all it does is smudge it out. And I'm still gonna have to wipe that off anyway. And it does leave, like, that jelly residue. So that has to be wiped off, because it's gonna look greasy. The idea is there. It just needs to be perfected a little more. I mean, maybe that's the whole idea of it. It says, apply the pen gently to the area. Okay, I wasn't doing it gently. <laughs> that needs correction. Avoid pressing too hard or rubbing vigorously. Based off that, it doesn't really say to wipe it away but you can't really leave it on. So I like the idea. The concept is cool. I was thinking it was maybe something different. Even my eye like is feeling kind of greasy now from that, from the gel. I would pass on that. Maybe I'll use it. I don't honestly know if I would use that again. <laughs> that is everything that I had to try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.